Hi, my name is Jacob Beeren, and today I'll be presenting our paper titled Machining Result Prediction and Tool Detection of Milling Based on Mathematical Optimization Methods. Our goal for this project was to use binary classification algorithms to better predict CNC machining results based on data taken from the CNC machine. Our independent variables will be data from the CNC machine, and our, in our dependent variables were tool condition following machining, whether the machining was finalized, and whether the tool passed visual inspection. In order to achieve our goal, we had to first start with data pre-processing. One way in which we pre-processed the data was to replace NAN values with no for machining finalized and also for past visual inspection. This is because if it did not have an NAN value in past visual inspection, the machining was not finalized. Uh, another way in which we normalized and uh, pre-processed our data was to replace strings with numerical data for easier use in algorithms. Uh, we also removed columns in which uh, every single value was the same because that won't help in making any predictions. Uh, we then finally got a, a feature space of 53. Uh, our next step was actually selecting which of those features were most important for making predictions given what we were trying to predict. So for example, for case one, we're trying to predict tool condition. We used the light GBM gradient boosting decision tree, as can be seen in our code appendix. Uh, quickly, I'll show you uh, what we did. We set the parameter to GDBT, so gradient boosting decision tree, and then we were able to utilize the LGB library to get the feature importance uh, for each one, as you can see here. We then graphed that uh, just for this one, since it took a while to get the data. And you can see that uh, there are a few features that are significantly more important than other ones for making predictions. And those were then used as uh, just those features for our final uh, running of algorithms on those. We then repeated this process for case two to see whether the machining was finalized or not and passed visual inspection. And ultimately we had features, vectors that we could use to make predictions uh, for each thing that we were trying to predict. Finally, we get to the classification optimization in which we implement the machine learning algorithms on the features that we have selected for the given target. Uh, looking uh, first at whether a tool was worn or not, we have run all these different machine learning algorithms on the data. As you can see, Decision Tree, Random Forest, and XGBoost perform the, great, the best, with XGBoost having the highest cross-validated mean accuracy of 95.6%. Um, that's pretty good. <laughs> Our next step was doing machine finalized to see how we could predict that. And as you can see, most of the models perform very well with XGBoost performing the best at 94.2938%. Uh, so that's pretty good as well and will help us make more predictions in the future. Finally, we have whether it passed visual inspection or not. We used multiple different models again. And you can see that Decision Tree, Random Forest, and XGBoost performed better than most of the other models. But Random Forest actually performed the best. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Ultimately, we were able to create models that predict the given dependent variable at a very high rate. This can be used to increase efficient use of the CNC machine by allowing users to set the CNC variables in a way that will lead to preferred outcomes for tool wear, whether the machining is finalized or not, and whether the tool passed inspection. Thank you for listening, and have a good day.